Hello, friends. So we're back with another read aloud from Sideways Stories from Wayside School. We are on chapter 28 titled Nancy, and we are also zooming in and focusing in on making inferences. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. And if you want to look at that picture at home, see if there's any inferences you can make uh, or conclusions you can make based on that picture here. All right, Nancy had big hands and big feet. He didn't like his name. He thought it was a girl's name. None of the other children in Mrs. Jewell's class thought that Nancy's name was odd. They didn't think of it as a girl's name or a boy's name. Nancy was just the name of a quiet kid with the big hands and feet who sat over there in the corner next to John. Nancy was very quiet and shy. He was ashamed of his name. He had only one friend, a girl who went to class on the 23rd story of Wayside School. They were friends for a good reason. He didn't know her name and she didn't know his. They just called each other, hey you, or just plain you. Nancy was afraid to ask his friend what her name was because then he might have to tell her his name. He never could figure out why she never asked, but he was happy just to leave well enough alone. One morning, Nancy and his friend were late. When they got to the 23rd story, his friend's teacher was waiting outside. Hurry up, you're late, Mac, said the teacher. Nancy's friend turned red. She didn't move. Come on, Mac, shake a leg. Get the lead out, said the teacher. Your name is Mac, said Nancy. Mac was very pretty. She had red hair and freckles. She covered her face and ran into the room. My name is Nancy, Nancy called after her. Mac stepped back outside. I was ashamed to tell you my name, she said. Me too, said Nancy. Nancy's a girl's name. Oh, I think it's cute, said Mac. I like the name Mac, said Nancy. Mac is a boy's name, said Mac. My mother has a rich aunt named Nancy, said Nancy. That's why she gave me the name. My mother once had a dog named Mac, said Mac. Hey, do you want to trade, Nancy asked. Can we, asked Mac. I don't see why not, said Nancy. Okay, said Mac. They both spun around 100 times in opposite directions until they were so dizzy that they fell over. When they stood up, Mac was Nancy and Nancy was Mac. They said goodbye. Then Mac raced up to Mrs. Joel's room. He was no longer shy. Hi, everybody. My name's Mac, he announced. I traded names. He held out his big hand. Todd jumped up jumped up and shook it. Hi, Mac, he said. Glad to meet you. How you doing, Mac, said Ron. Howdy, Mac, said Terrence. Nice to see you, Mac, said Bibi. You traded names, asked Jason. Jason didn't like his name either. That's right, Jason, old boy, said Mac. Is that allowed, asked Jason. Why not, said Mac. Hey, anybody want to trade, Jason called. I'll trade with you, said Terrence. He didn't like his name either. Wait, I'll trade with you, Terrence, said Mauricia. Mauricia didn't like her name. No, he's trading with me, said Jason. I'll trade with you, Mauricia, said Damien. No, thanks, said Mauricia. I'll trade with you, Damien, said Mrs. Jules. No, I want to be Mrs. Jules, said Stephen. It turned out that nobody in Mrs. Jules' class liked his name. The children all spun around in different directions until they got so dizzy and they fell over. And when they stood up again, nobody knew who anybody was. What are we going to do, Mrs. Jules? Asked Leslie, who was really Eric Bacon. My name is not Mrs. Jules, it's Mauricia, answered Terrence, who was really Jason. It is not, I'm Mauricia, said Dee Dee, who was really Joe. You're both wrong, said Mauricia. I'm Mrs. Jules. This went on for an hour. At least they figured out who the real Rondi was. 
she was missing her two front teeth. After they figured out Rondi, they were able to get Allison pretty easily. And then from there, they got DJ, Damien, and Mrs. Jules. She was the oldest one. Eventually, they figured out who everybody really was. They had some difficulty deciding which Eric was which. And actually, they are still not obviously or absolutely sure. Everybody just decided to keep his own name. The children didn't like them, and it made things much easier. Mac and Nancy kept their new names. But when they were together, they still called each other, hey, you, or just plain you. All right, so here are some questions. Why doesn't Nancy like his name? What do Nancy and Mac have in common? So what is Nancy's solution to the problem, and how does that solution cause chaos in Mrs. Jules' class? All right, I hope you enjoyed that read aloud. We only have two more chapters left, so I will see you in the next read aloud.